Okay, this is going to be a video of uh, one of my popular transports. Uh, there's some little tips and tricks to make it work, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So I've already queued up some stuff, my planks, uh, some walls, and ceilings. Alright, throw on our planks, whoops, the leg, probably recording, you need 40 planks for the uh, brig. Alright, I usually place the bottom deck first, so I just hit Q to go down to the bottom. Top deck, no middle deck. I put my ramps in just in case I fall down there. I can get back out. And these will be part of the finished ship. Up front here, we're going to throw four blocks in here and leave two of these out. And on the side, we're going to put one a triangle. And then we're going to go back to a square. Tri triangle, triangle, square, and then four triangles. And in this spot I usually throw uh, a square in. So once again on this side, triangle, square, triangle, triangle, square, four triangles. Throw a square in. Alright, and once you have that, you can go across with the squares. And then what I usually do is start on the walls up front. I usually stand on this rail so that I can get the walls to place correctly. I want them to place on the overhang out there. This one's just going to slant slightly in. And then slant back out. This one wants to, you want to stay straight. It's two walls and then a slant in and a flat. These should just all snap correctly on the, uh, what you got already placed. Once you're done with that, we're going to go put a ceiling here and a ceiling here. And put a stairway in. Let's 
stairway in over here. You need to put those ceilings in so the stairway is locked to it. And basically we repeat what we did before down there, up here. And you can complete this out too if you wanted to right now. You are going to end up with a gap in the center. It should look like that. And then for this we just fill, I try to keep them all the same direction forward when you're doing the overlapping. Yeah. And then these you just fill. You should have a gap that looks like that in the front. Then we're going to work on the next deck here. I'll do a door, wall, window. Oops. Alright, when you get down to this point and you have that up, what we want to do is extend the decks that we, or the ceilings we put in. It's a quarter off, so we need to extend them back. Um, we do not want to link there, we want it to be the quarter off, which this one actually linked to the wrong place. in our walls now in this case we want this to snap to that wall so if we didn't put in a floor there it's not going to snap so make sure you put the floor in all right now it should snap to that wall whoops yeah there it goes Finicky. There we go. Alright, after I get a few of those walls in, I do my stairs. This first stair is going to go up. This one's going to go down. in. Alright. 
Okay, when you get down to the one that's the one and a quarter, we're going to stop. I'm specifically talking about this gap here. It's like one and a quarter. Um, you can put window placeholders in for where you'd want windows. I usually have two of them right there. going to repeat what we did on the last stack again. Once again, you should end with, with the gap here. I did something wrong here, or else it would be filled. Uh, don't know which one's wrong. That one, I think. And you should have that, that gap like that. Okay. So in this uh, one, uh, I use uh, two handling, two speeds, and two uh, white sails. Uh, 
Uh, I usually start with the uh, right, right back on the ramp here. Um, oops. I go one handling, one weight, another handling. They are one space apart down there. Then I just, I know where to put the, uh, my, uh, weight sail. It's like, I guess, one, two, three. Um, we put the other speed sail as far forward as we can go. And our last sail we're going to do right there. And I use these for a measurement of where to start the back end. And the back end is started right here with two groups. Okay, we're going to put two squares and then one square out and then we're going to switch to triangles and do two triangles slanting towards the front. And we're going to turn these two ramps and do two ramps. Alright, and then to get the special sauce on the back, we got to put a square out from this ramp on top of the triangle. And then we put three triangles back, a square, triangle, and a square. Alright, and then at this point, you can fill in some of this stuff here so you don't fall in. I usually just go straight back in the center. Fill. Doesn't really matter. If you don't, you end up falling in those holes as you're walking around. Alright, once she's full like this, we're going to start with a window and a wall, or a door, I mean, on this corner square, oops, yeah, that's right, uh, so, alright, so that's our corners, we are going to put a ceiling tile on there, triangle, ceiling square, and then a triangle, go with our stairs. You got one stair. Two squares. Tr stairs and then triangle. I usually move the sail. Rotate it to 75. Get it out of the way. stair. Other side the same. triangle on the edge of that one, that one, square, square, I'll do 
do ramps up the back here. And in here we're going to put two triangles pointing out like this. Okay. Back to the back, we're going to do two triangles the same way. Pointing straight out. Yeah, have to go to the other side. And that gives us our different angle for the back. We're going to do two out, two triangles, back to the square. And then you should end up with a diamond shape there, kind of. We'll do the same thing up here. Two squares, two triangles, two squares. And at this point, you're ready for some walls. I let those, uh, the fancy part, be on the inside on that one. And then what we're going to do is half walls here. That's on our ramp right above here. We do halves. And then we fill this in. Just use some placeholders for the windows. I turn those into glass eventually. Looks nicer. At this point, on these ones, I like the decoration to be on the outside. So I switch the decoration to the outside. Same with this. Same with this. Just always look at it and point the decoration out. Now this one's very important here to have the decoration on the outside so that you can access the back. Um, so just make sure the decorations are pointing out on all, all your ones on that point, from that point on. Um, we're going to use... Eh, that one's not facing out. Sometimes you get a certain angle, and my hand likes to jitter, or the snap point just doesn't show up. We'll start at a different point. We'll start out here. Put our window placeholders in, four of them. leave this hole there for the moon pool. These I uh, make sure that it's uh, lined up with the stairs like that on the go down there. If you ever run into that problem, what you gotta do is remove this other wall. The stair won't, go, or the slant won't go in. So it is 
left we want. And hit Q to get it to go down there. And then put our wall back in there. Remember, decoration out. Was that decoration out? No, it wasn't. There you go. Alright, so... My usual what I do is, uh, once you start going up, it, these are all going to be left, so just um, walk up the stairs and start placing them on that side left. Then this inner one will be the left. If you don't already know, it's Q to do these snap points to get them to alter through it, should you need to. Go haywire. Okay. Missing one here. I think that was left. Okay. Right here. the wrong spot. Okay. And we put a half wall to get this flush with the other ones. just above the windows, the half walls. two back here and then follow the angles for here just to fill or you can do triangles or whatever you want there um, we're gonna put half stairs here um, this is where I park my elephant 
and if you put a half stair there, it makes it much easier for him to walk up here. Whoa, a little lag spike there. sure what happened there. Must have placed that over another block. But we will sure what I placed over what there but to make that all collapse I must have hit something vital in there. really quick all right at this point we are down down on, down on the ship up here when you jump down to the dock you can take out these two roof pieces Uh, some people put glass in here. I just do regular doors. Some people also use stairs down to the bottom here. You can remember that those four aren't really connected to anything. You can put stairs in later. At this point, we are ready to. I start uh, underneath that railing up there so these first two pieces I like the decoration to be on the inside and then whoops everything after that 
I like the decoration to be on the outside. Like that. Okay, so you got one layer of walls on the outside here, and then we start with the uh, roofs. layer down which you can wait till you get it in the water on this or you can do it up top here it's either or uh, I don't like to fight the sharks and stuff so I try to do it all up here These last two pieces, they'll snap right in if you switch to ramps, and they go like that. I think. Is that the right spot? Yeah, I think that's the right spot. higher when it's not in the water okay so that's basically the build I put uh, ladders right where that balcony is I'll grab a ladder and show you rope ladders but I don't have any made so I'm just gonna show you where I usually put the ladders at least on the back 
It's just a nice spot for him. Right there. Then, uh, very important if you want your moon pool to work right away. You need to put a ladder back there. Uh, the ship ladder you can't use because it won't let you get off on levels, so that's where you need to have the moon pool one so that when you swim up through the hole you can climb up onto the level. Let's see if I forgot anything. Oh, I did forget something. Uh, I usually put an extra platform on the front. Another little higher platform. I don't know oh, dragon head. Such. I usually fill this out further, but um, you, you can play around with that um, up to the edge of the dragon's wings. And that's pretty much the design. Um, I'll show you the way I have mine set up. So you might want to set yours up similar. So I replaced my placeholder windows with glass. Looks a little bit more fancy. Um, oh, I forgot to add the... Ah, you can add that later. Um, I do an extra little uh, stairway to go up to the front. Uh, it's right here. It's very easy. You just, it's just one stairway, a triangle, another stairway. Adds a way for you to get bears and, and giraffes and stuff up front here. Uh, I use this first deck as my crafting room. I put the uh, bulk forge up there, my loom and my tannery. I always have this the same, which is the bookcase and the, and the storage container. The next deck down I use the front as my kitchen. Um, which is not finished on this one, but put my bulk mortar and pestle there in the back I set up a bedroom and I like to put the bookcase up there you can remove those two panels that are right underneath those ramps and uh, there's a little crack that ends up there but I cover it up with a box uh, those boxes right there are covering the crack after you remove the ceiling you can get back into where your moon pool is and I usually put a desk back here it's nice to have the light and uh, so when you drop that ship you might need to um,
put a couple more pieces on the bottom to get this uh, looking real nice. But then you can dive out underneath and uh, get bit by a <laughs> manta ray. Oops. Hey, he's really pushing me around. Yeah, he's pushing me around. You can get up in here <laughs> when you're not being pushed by Manta Ray. It's pretty easy. That's about it. Um, I decorate with globes. Uh, once again, replace all the placeholder windows with glass. It looks nicer. Park my elephant up here. Um, you got lots of um, place for bears and stuff. Then he'll pop down there and won't stick up through the deck too bad. And that's the design.